You see here two hummingbird feeders in my garden. I put sugar water in there, about 25% sugar, 75% water. It's going to be part of a physics problem, but I first want you to see how they hanging here in my garden. Then I will show you later how I fill them. I can take them apart. I can unscrew the bottom part and then I can turn over the upper part so that I can pour in the liquid. I will also show you, it may be a little harder to see a hummingbird drinking <laughs> the liquid. I cannot be as close as I am now. So I have to do it from a larger distance. So you see now here the two hummingbird feeders, a big one and a small one. I can unscrew this bottom part I turn it over and I pour in here the sugared water. Trust me, I put sugar in this water. Okay. So, so this piece here is open at the location of the flowers. You see holes there. I screw it back on. And if now I turn it over, you see that the liquid is not coming out here. That's simple physics. A little bit of air in the beginning because liquid goes in the bottom here and then it stops. And so we're going to hang this out in the garden. Okay, so let's now use the big one. Still some liquid in here, pour that out, I turn it over and I put in sugar water here. Okay, so I screw this back on again. Oh, there is a. <laughs> it's interesting, there is a. 
an insect inside that must have crawled in through the through the open flowers. Okay. So now I turn it over. Liquid goes down. Cannot come out here. For obvious reasons, because the pressure above here would then go down and would prevent the water from coming out. Simple physics. So I'm now going to put them out, hanging again in the garden. So you'll see me in the garden, I'm going to hang them up. So I just put them up, here's the big one, and here's the small one. On a separate video, which I will attach to this one, I will show you how the hummingbirds fly in here and then suck out the sugared water. The amazing thing about hummingbirds, it's the only bird that can fly backwards, no other birds can do that. It can also fly and stand still in front of the in front of the flower. But it has to keep moving its wings, of course. Now comes the physics problem. I have reasons to believe that if but first let me tell you, of course, when you see the the birds feeding themselves, then it's no surprise that the liquid level will go down and after a while I'll have to refill it, of course. However, now comes the physics problem. I will put some saran wrap around here so that no bird can reach the water, uh, can reach the flowers. And I still believe I'm not 100% sure, but you will check that with me. I still believe that the water level will go down. And that's a big puzzle. How can that be if no birds use the water? And it may take several days before you can really see that the water level goes down. Right now it is just a teeny weeny little bit above the the red ribbon around. So very shortly I will show you how I have attached the saran wrap around the bottom part. But of course I will not do that with this one. The small one will just be as it always was. So you can now see how the bottom of the large hummingbird feeder is surrounded with uh, saran wrap. I also indicated at the bottom line the blue line where the red ribbon is that holds the feeder in place and on top of that the blue line where the water level is right now. Today is August 24 and it is 10 a.m. Look by the way, you see here a bee, a big bee. They often also go to the flowers <laughs> to get some of the sweet liquid. 
very common that you see bees. So later today you will see hummingbirds there, but not here because they cannot reach they cannot reach the uh, the flowers. And so then we'll show them to you tomorrow again and maybe two days later to see whether I am right that the water level still goes down and then of course the fish's problem is why does that happen? August 25, 2021 2 p.m. in the afternoon Notice that the water went down and yet no bird has drank any of it. Impossible. And so, yes, it seems that it goes down. And though that's the physics problem. We will check it again in a few days because I would predict that the water also comes below the red band. And when it does that, then I will post the problem. So for now we know that the water level is behind the right band and it was here before. All right then. It is now August 26. So this feeder has been hanging here completely sealed at the bottom, no birds could ever have taken any liquid out. And what you see is what I predicted, that now the water is down to just under the red line. It was originally here and it is now down by more than one centimeter. And so the question is, why did that happen? All right, that's the problem. I wish you luck. Notice there are a few drops of water on the outside of the large hummingbird feeder. That's very common. It's still early morning and we find dew drops of water also on our grass and on everything else that is outside. So that's not uncommon and those drops certainly did not come out of the hummingbird feeder. Okay?